I feel more and more convinced that science is a natural part of culture, and yet we haven't fully accepted that yet. It's as though we haven't culturally realized that that's true quite yet. So we still think of science as falling under education, and you know, when I write books, my colleagues will say, you're doing outreach. You know, <laughs> it's really strange. Like, the, there's, there's a sense that science is still other, and, um, and I think that, that places like Pioneer Works are showing that it's not other, that it's, it's no stranger for a scientist to want to be in the world and share the remarkable discoveries that they've made than it is for an artist to want to present their work in a gallery. You don't ask an artist, like, why do you want to put your work in a gallery? Why aren't you alone in your studio <laughs> admiring, you know, and, and we are often quite isolated as scientists, and, and some scientists don't ever want to come out of the lab, and that's perfectly fine. I don't think it's something that should be required of every scientist at all. It's perfectly fine for someone to be totally single-mindedly in the lab 20 hours a day. And, um, but many people reach some moment in their lives where they, they want to share what they just saw. You know, it's like the people who climbed to the top of Mount Everest, and, and not everyone's going to make that climb, and they can come back and tell the rest of us what the view is like. And, and that's just a, a natural thing human beings want to do. Mm -hmm.